I'm going to show you how I make the blackened handles for the serving trays. Um, I showed you, I made a video on bending these. Okay, three quarter flat stock. And then I bend it in the shape of a handle. Now, when you get done, it's not the blackened finish. To get a blackened finish, you have to heat it up. And you have to use some boiled linseed oil. And I put a little black color in it. And why it's hot, you rub it on there and it'll blacken the metal and it'll dry on the metal. Okay, it's similar to like a paint. It's not paint, but it'll bake right into the metal from the heat. It dries the linseed oil right onto the handle. Now, you want to make sure you use boiled linseed oil. If you use raw linseed oil, It'll take forever to dry, okay? It just doesn't dry long enough. Here's what I was using. Clean strip, boiled linseed oil, okay? Make sure it's boiled, very important. What I do is I take a little linseed oil, put it in a cup. I take a little black color. I'm doing the epoxy river table, so I have black color, black dye for the epoxy. And I just mix it in with the linseed oil and then use a cloth, nice saturated cloth. And once you heat the metal, you're going to rub that on. So you'll see, I'll show you how to mix the linseed oil. I'll show you how to heat it. And then I'll show you how to apply it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I mix it. I take the boiled linseed oil, we'll open that up. Okay, I put a little bit in, in the container. I only have two handles to make, so I don't want to make a lot of it. Um, and then what I do is I add black color. Okay, I have this black color. It's uh, black diamond for the epoxy river tables. I take my measuring stick, okay, cut into one foot increments. I take and dip it in. I just take a little bit on there and I just put it in there in the container. Okay. So I drop that in the container. Then if you watch other videos, I always use these for stirring. They're great stir sticks. Okay. To add the color and you can stir up your color into the linseed oil. All right, I just stir this in, and that's all. Now, that's all ready. So, what you're going to do next, what I'm going to do next, is I'm going to heat up the handle. All right, you don't want a cherry red handle, okay? You don't want to get a cherry red. You want to go more of a bluish gray color. So you're just going to heat it blue gray, not cherry red. And then what I'll do is I'll take it outside and then I'll start apply applying the boiled linseed oil. You don't want to really do it inside. It does create some smoke. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and heat up the handle. And when I'm working with the boiled linseed oil, I always have the blue gloves, and I also have a pair of leather gloves, okay? I also wear a pair of leather gloves to apply the boiled linseed oil, because the metal is going to be hot, okay? So these nitro gloves, they're just going to be too thin. You're going to burn your hands, so I use the leather. And they do get black, Okay, I'm using the black color. They do get black. So if you don't want the gloves all black or they're a real good pair of gloves, you probably don't want to be applying boiled linseed oil with them. Also, boiled linseed oil. It is flammable. Okay, don't leave your boiled linseed oil right next to where you're heating your handle. Okay, you want to get this out of here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to Get this out of the way, we'll light the torch, and we're going to get started. 
I have pliers, so when it's heated up, we'll go ahead and I will carry it outside. So let's go ahead, get this torch going. We'll heat this up, bluish gray. evenly Different colors on the metal represent different heat, different temperatures. That one's getting a little hot. I see a little red. But I think we're good. Okay. That's nice and warm. All right, we're going to go ahead and take the pliers. And then we're going to take it outside. And I'll apply the boiled linseed oil. Okay. Okay, we're outside. Got the handle here. I warmed up a little bit warmer than normal because I had to get the camera set up. Okay, but now I have it. I warmed it up a little no more than normal. Take my boiled linseed oil. Okay, I start nice oil linseed rag. I'm holding it with the pliers. It is hot. And I just rub it into the metal. You just keep coating it. All right, you see all the smoke? Linseed oil does catch on fire, so if your metal's too hot, it may ignite. I had one a little while ago. Where I went like this, and it was just a little too hot, and it had a had flames coming right up, and the rag caught on fire. So this stuff is flammable. Another good reason why to do it outside. That way you're not burning any buildings down. Okay, this is saturated, saturated with black linseed oil, boiled linseed oil. I switch, I do the other side. And I just keep rubbing it. Nice and saturated. Let it dry and then put another coat on. You just keep adding coats. And it only gets so dark. My experience, uh, I haven't done a lot of this, but um, with my experience, it seems to only get so dark and then it just kind of stops. So... That's how I make the handles. Okay, here's a different style handle I made. It's uh, made out of half inch uh, round bar stock, half inch round stock. Okay, I've formed it. This is another handle. Make a nice drawer handle. Uh, I'm going to put these on serving trays. So we're going to go ahead and put some boiled linseed oil with black color on them. Got my rag nice and saturated. Just rub this on. And it dries since the heat, it just dries quickly. The heat dries it very quickly. Okay, I'm outside, a lot of smoke. I 
just hold it with the pliers because like I said, it is hot. You just do layers, let it dry. You'll see it just evaporate and it just becomes, just goes right into the metal, right on top of the metal, it just dries. Like bakes right on. Just keep adding layers. Uh, my experience, it only gets so dark and I don't know, it tends to just stop. But I guess if you did a lot of layers, I'm sure that, you know, the more layers you would do, the darker it would get. Okay. Okay, here's the handles that I made. Here's the three quarter inch flat stock with blackened, blackened uh, finish. Here's the half inch bar stock, also blackened finish. So there are the handles that will be on the serving trays.